Ah, oh, shame. He went for it as well. So, Jim and Leah go away, still having won £1,000 for their two charities, but as you heard, Jim promised to make up the extra £15,000 they'd lost. Very generous gesture at Christmas. Now, time to welcome our second pair of celebrities this Christmas Day, Simon Cowell and Neil Fox. <laughs> So you've only got a grand to beat then. Oh yes. <laughs> Here we have, as if you didn't know, music mogul Simon Cowell and his fellow pop idol panelist DJ Neil Fox. Simon left school at 16, had an early job as a humble male boy, but now runs one of the world's most successful music organisations. He's been behind a wide range of top artists from Westlife to Robson and Jerome and the Telly Tubbies. <laughs> With over 70 records. Didn't he tell you about that? Why are you laughing? Well, know bring that up. With over 70 records in the top 30, 17 number ones. An amazing achievement, but he's perhaps still best known for how high he wears his trousers. <laughs> and here to argue with him about the answers tonight is another pop idol judge, Neil Fox, also known as Foxy. He's been a radio disc jockey for more than 20 years, beginning with the world famous radio Wyvern. He now works for some obscure little London based broadcaster called. Capital FM. Rings a bit of a phone bell. And tonight, Neil's playing on behalf of the Princess Alice Hospice, while Simon's charity is the Battersea Dog Zone. Fifteen <laughs> questions, three new lifelines, a possible £1 million pounds for their two charities. And remember, you have to agree on all your answers and use any lifelines. What's the luck? Neil, Simon, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Which of these phrases means to deal with a subject superficially, to make it appear more acceptable? Mat over, emulsion under, silk up, gloss over. Well, superficially, you've got to do this one. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> I would think uh, it would be gloss over. I'm going to go with you on that one. I think we'll... Yeah. So you got £100. Pounds. Yippee! <laughs> now, Simon, it's entirely your choice, but if you really are going to sit there applauding yourself each time you get one right... <laughs> Why not? Well, no, it's entirely your choice, but it looks a lot like one of those housewives on supermarket sweep. <laughs> <just gets laughs> but, Simon, it's your image, not mine. You have £100. Oh, you're really going to enjoy it tonight, aren't you? Do you know I think we all are? £100. <laughs> Question number two. Let's see if you know anything else. This is for £200. What kind of decision has to be made without much time to think about it? Bridge decision. Rummy decision. Snap decision. Poker decision. Do you want to go for this one? Oh, I'm going to go Think for, about it, though. No, I'm going to do exactly what it says, Neil. I'm going to make a snap nope. decision. decision. It's the right answer. You have two on the pounds. <laughs> Not the clap this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have two on the pounds. Question number three is for three on the pounds. Here it comes. If something happens with no problems occurring, everything is said to go what? Skating league. Swimmingly, surfingly, skiingly. Hmm, it's not skiingly. It's not skatingly. It's not surfingly. <laughs> By a process of elimination, that leaves us swimmingly. swimmingly the right answer, you have 300 pounds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Question number four, you're going very well, Foxy. Uh, this is 500 oh, pounds. In 2003, Arnold Schwarzenegger was elected governor of which state? This is I do work in America. You do work? Yes. yes. Just transatlantic. Yeah, yeah. carry on. Arizona? No. California? Yes. Idaho? No. Wisconsin? No. Final answer? California. So, right answer, you have 500 pounds. <laughs> Somebody throw some fish at them. Right, you have 500 pounds. It's going rather well, isn't it? Brilliant. Well, no, I wouldn't say brilliant. It's, it's going. It's going swimmingly. Thanks almost entirely to Neil. <laughs> when Pop Idol started, did you expect it to be such a phenomenon? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you learn to be a smug git? Did it work on you? <laughs> See, it works on Pop Idol, but here it seems really weird. We're sort of the team in so smug. Position. But do you, um, sit, do you sit there sometimes listening to him and thinking, that seems a little harsh? Truthfully. The, the honest answer is sometimes it's harsh, but it's pretty well always true. And I think people, you know, the truth hurts, doesn't it? I'm very glad you don't know my mobile phone number, by the way. 
Because you'd have given it out. What a bet. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you have £500. This is the last point. You can still go home with nothing. Okay. Thanks, but you have all three lifelines. Question number five is for £1,000. Here we go. In early radio sound effects, coconut shells were used. We still use them. Coconut <laughs> shells were used to represent what? Horses' hooves. Doors slamming. Thunder. Plates smashing. It's for a thousand pounds. Well, how could you use a coconut shell for a door slam? It's a very sort of woody sound effect. But no. you know what it's like. You know what the answer is. Yeah, I do. Go on. Horses' hooves. It's the right answer, Simon. You have a thousand pounds! You have a thousand pounds. Uh, you have all three lifelines intact. Question number six is for two thousand. Have a look. Tell me what you want to do. Which of these is a song for the musical West Side Story? Canada, Mexico, America, Panama. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, you're hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Sing the answer. Go on. I'm not going to sing. I'll say it. Okay. Can you sing? No, not no, not a note in tune. And how can you tell whether other people can? I just can. Okay. It's America. Final answer. Yeah. Final answer. Yeah. It's the right answer. Yes. Yeah. You have £2,000, you have all three lifelines. Uh, have a look at number seven, money going up now to £4,000. You haven't touched any of your 50-50 phone friend or ask the audience yet. Here it comes. El Dorado is a legendary kingdom of enormous wealth located on which continent? South America, Africa, Australia, Antarctica. It's got to be. It's got to be. It's Spanish, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's got to be. It's not Africa, is it? Nah. Australia. Antarctica? Nah. No, not a chance. Nah. Go on, just do it. <laughs> it's uh, South America, Chris. And that is our final answer, Chris. Yes. It's the right answer. You've got 4,000 back. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed this. <laughs> it's early days. I know, but I'm happy. That's good. I'd like to see you happy. Now, <laughs> uh, question number eight is for £8,000. This is the amount that Will Young won on this very programme. Thanks. Okay. okay. You have all three lifelines. This is question number eight for £8,000 for your two charities. Here it comes. In Italian cuisine, bresseola is a form of which meat? Ham, beef, chicken, lamb. I haven't got a bloody clue. I'm looking blank. One of our favourite restaurants is Italian. What um, does breast sound like? Breast. Oh, it sounds like breast, <laughs> doesn't it? That's what you're... But it's no, I'm not, not thinking that. You're thinking chicken breast? Yeah. No, no but that's a, a form of witch meat. Have you ever had spaghetti breast? <laughs> <laughs> Never. I'm no. trying to think whether we should go 50-50, ask the audience or phone a friend. I think we should phone Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can we phone a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> you gave us your list of phone friends when you came in. You can choose any one of those. You can't suddenly add an Italian restaurateur uh, to the mix. I'm so sorry. But even though he is one of my best friends. No. <laughs> you certainly can't. He'll okay. be sitting watching this screen. Do you know who interview. I think we should phone? Who? Jackie. Only because she, this girl eats like a pig. <laughs> That's right. I'm serious. I mean, she's always eating. And if anyone would know, I think she'd know it. I think she probably would. You know what I mean? Yeah. Should we do it? Yeah, let's phone Jackie. Yeah. Yeah. Jack. Jackie. Jackie, then? Jackie's a friend of ours. We share her. Right. Mid pride. Okay, you phone Jackie. Uh, who's going to talk to her? Uh, we both will. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Happy Christmas, Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Chris. Now, well, you probably know what we're up to. We're right in the middle of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. We're doing a charity special. It's quite serious business tonight. We've got Neil and Simon here. Yes. And we're flying along and they're suddenly stuck. Okay. Wonderful moment. Simon Carr's lost for words briefly. Uh, Jackie, they say you'll be the girl to tell them the right answer for this one. Oh, I hope so. Right, off you go. Your time starts now. Dogs are at stake, Jackie. In Hi. Italian cuisine, bresaola, B R E S A O L A, is a form of which meat? 
What? It's a cured beef. Seriously? Yes, definitely. Have you eaten it before? Yes. Tell me the four answers. Okay. Um, ham, beef, chicken, lamb. Beef. Are you 100%? 100%. When, yeah. when did you last eat it? Um, last night, darling. <laughs> Have you just had it for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is very good. <laughs> <laughs> the answer Sorry. is we're going to say, are we? Beef, beef. Final answer. Yeah. Final answer. Yeah. It's the right answer. Yeah. yeah. yeah.